in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen my dear brother and sister fraternal greetings to you from the carmelite fathers and warm welcome to carmel light reflection on the day's readings it's the 19th of june saturday of the 11th week in ordinary time this day is marked as international day for the elimination of sexual violence in conflict day instituted by the united nations and now we listen to the inspiring life of the saint of the day saint ramal who founded the camaldolese monastic order during the early 11th century has his liturgical memorial on june 19th working with the western church's benedictine tradition he revived the primitive monastic practice of hermit life allowing for greater solitude in a communal setting born into an aristocratic family during the middle of the 10th century Romal grew up in a luxurious and worldly environment where he learned little in the way of self-restraint or religious devotion yet he also felt an unusual attraction towards the simplicity of monastic life prompted by the beauty of nature and the experience of solitude it was not beauty or tranquility but a shocking tragedy that spurred him to act on this desire When Rama was 20 years old he saw his father Sergius kill one of his relatives in a dispute over some property disgusted by the crime he had witnessed the young man went to the monastery of Saint Apollinaris to do 40 days of penance for his father these 40 days confirmed Rama's monastic calling as they became the foundation for an entire life of penance but this would not be lived out at saint apollinaris where ramal's strict asceticism brought him into conflict with some of the other monks he left the area near ravenna and went to venice where he became the disciple of the hermit marinus both men went on to encourage the monastic vocation of peter ursulus a venetian political leader who would later be canonized as a saint When Peter joined a French Benedictine monastery, Rama followed him and lived for 5 years in a nearby hermitage. In the meantime, Rama's father Sergius had followed his son's course, repenting of his sins and becoming a monk himself. Rama returned to Italy to help his father after learning that Sergius was struggling in his vocation. Through his son's guidance, Sergius found the strength to persist in religious life. After guiding his penitent father in the way of salvation, Rama traveled throughout Italy serving the church. By 1012, he had helped to establish or reform almost 100 hermitages and monasteries, though these were not connected to one another in the manner of a distinct religious order. The foundations of the Camaldolese order were not laid until 1012 when a piece of land called the Camaldoli located in the diocese of Arezzo was granted to Rama it became the site of five hermit quarters and a full monastery soon after this combination of hermit cells and community life together with other distinctive features gave this monastery and its later affiliates a distinct identity and charism Rama's approach to the contemplative life reminiscent of the early desert fathers can be seen in the short piece of writing known as his brief rule it reads as follows sit in your cell as in paradise put the whole world behind you and forget it watch your thoughts like a good fisherman watching for fish the path you must follow is in the psalms never leave it If you have just come to the monastery and in spite of your good will you cannot accomplish what you want 
Take every opportunity you can to sing the Psalms in your heart and to understand them with your mind. And if your mind wanders as you read, do not give up. Hurry back and apply your mind to the words once more. Realize, above all, that you are in God's presence and stand there with the attitude of one who stands before the Emperor. Empty yourself completely and sit waiting, content with the grace of God, like the chick who tastes nothing and eats nothing but what his mother brings him. Saint Ramau of Ravenna died in his monastic cell on June 19, 1027. Pope Gregory the Thirteenth canonized him in 1582. Placing all our petitions before him today, let us pray. Father, through Saint Ramau, you renewed the life of solitude and prayer in your church. By our self-denial as we follow Christ, bring us the joy of heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. My dear friends, we continue to reflect on the Sermon on the Mount. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 6, verses 24 to 34. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, No one can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or he will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and money. Therefore, I tell you, do not be anxious about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? And which of you, by being anxious, can add a single hour to his span of life? And why are you anxious about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. Yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not arid like one of these. But if God so clothes the grass of the field, which today is alive and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, Will he not much more clothe you, O oh, you of little faith? Therefore, do not be anxious, saying, What shall we eat? Or, What shall we drink? Or, What shall we wear? For the Gentiles seek after all these things. And your heavenly Father knows that you need them all. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added to you. Therefore, do not be anxious about tomorrow for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. At first glance, this passage can make it seem 
that Jesus is expecting us to rise so far above the mundane realities of life that we don't get involved in them. Or it may seem that he is giving us a proven formula for material wealth. But neither of these is accurate. Jesus does not want to take care of our needs, even the material ones. And he does want us to keep our earthly blessings in their proper perspective. But seeking first his kingdom is really about letting God mold our outlook. When you get up in the morning and your heart is already worn out with worries and a to-do list several pages long, you have a choice. You can start chipping away at that to-do list right away or you can begin by spending time with God. Even spending just 10 minutes with the Lord can change your perspective. You will find yourself able to look at your to-do list rightly. Not only will you be able to approach your duties effectively, you will be inspired by the Holy Spirit as well. Who knows? you might even end up being more efficient. Other times, you may wish they were a guaranteed way to win God's favor. You may look for a sure fire way to make sure that if you just seek God's kingdom, he will give you everything you lack. But the truth is, as we put aside our own plans and seek the guidance of the Holy Spirit, He can make our outlook more like this. Maybe that new job we want isn't the best thing for us. Maybe as much as we want to see a situation turn around, it really isn't the right time. In short, Putting God's kingdom first helps us order our lives correctly. All the needs or problems that weigh so heavily on us are put in proper perspective. Over time, we learn that choosing to give God first place makes us more content with all the other aspects of our life. Father, I place you first in my life. Renew my mind so that I can share your vision. Show me my place in your kingdom. Amen. The psalmist presents a proposal. Come to the Lord and experience the marvelous gifts God has for those who accept the divine invitation. Once one takes or tries out the specialness of God, one moves on to a new plane in which God becomes the focus of one's life. Being one with God brings divine prosperity, which is beyond any expectations. Keeping these thoughts in mind, let's pray the psalm now. Your response. 
Taste and see that the Lord is good. Taste and see that the Lord is good. The angel of the Lord is encamped around those who fear him to rescue them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Bless the man who seeks refuge in him. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Fear the Lord, you his holy ones. They lack nothing, those who fear him. The rich suffer want and go hungry. But those who seek the Lord lack no blessing. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Come children and hear me, that I may teach you the fear of the Lord. Who is it that desires life and longs to see prosperous days? Taste and see that the Lord is good. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Prayer for Relief from the Coronavirus Almighty and merciful God, who show your love to all creation everywhere, hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come before you asking for an efficacious control of the outbreak, for a healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. We thank you for blessing the efforts of our research scientists working on the development of a vaccine. We pray that these vaccines will be effective in combating the virus and its mutants and in controlling the spread of the pandemic. We pray that the vaccine be available for all our people, even the poor and those in rural areas. We pray for doctors, nurses and health workers who are in the front line of this battle. That they be kept safe and have the strength and courage to continue their heroic efforts. We pray for the government and health authorities that they take appropriate steps for the good of the people. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Novena Prayer to Our Lady of Mount Carmel In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Holy Mother of God, we greet you as Queen and Mother of Carmel. You were raised from being a lowly handmaid to the great dignity of the Mother of the Word Incarnate. We dedicate ourselves as an act of filial homage. We glorify the Holy Trinity by honoring you, and in our many needs we have recourse to your protection and your powerful intercession. Jesus, your Son, was so obedient to you on earth, will certainly grant your petitions on our behalf. With this trust and unbounded confidence, we beseech you to hear our prayers and obtain for us of your Divine Son the favors we request in this Novena. Having experienced the efficacy of your prayers, we are full of confidence that you will gain for us this favor if it is for the glory of God and for our good. Amen. Let us pray for our petitions. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, and sought thine intercession was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of virgins, my mother. To thee I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy, hear and answer me. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth 
as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen our lady of mount carmel pray for us thanksgiving prayer holy mother of god and queen of carmel we your children come before you in a spirit of filial devotion and gratitude as mother of our spiritual life you have obtained for us innumerable graces and blessings from our heavenly father who has given to us through you the greatest of all treasures christ our lord we recognize with deep sentiments of thankfulness all the spiritual favors that have come to us through your powerful intercession in particular we thank you for your special protection over those who wear your holy scapular with faith and love and finally we thank you for answering our prayers in our personal needs we implore from you the great grace of final perseverance that we remain faithful to the end to your son our lord jesus christ who is lord forever and ever amen let's pray for god's blessing may the lord jesus be with you to defend you may he be with you to sustain you may he go before you to show you the way may he follow you to guard you from above may he bless you with the father and the holy spirit who lives and reigns forever and ever amen in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen my dear friends we remember all those who are celebrating their birthday today especially mervin desa from kalyanpur udupi olivia patrick joseph from ahmedabad mary disouza from murdeshwar bailur william sikwera from suratkal mangalore celebrating his 60th birthday and bindu tp pirera from holenarsipur hasan wish you all a happy birthday god bless you and your intentions and we pray for the departed soul of baptist martha from puttur may the lord grant him eternal rest that's all for today my dear friends have a great weekend see you tomorrow bye bye